again with my co-authors, um, uh, TJ and Joe. Um, we, we, we wrote this book because we felt that it's important not only for us to recruit positive people onto our teams and hire them, um, recruit talented people, people who are going to make a difference, but they've got to stay. Mm-hmm. They, they, they've got to come. You, we can't, the turnover is unbelievable in, in, in education in some areas. So we've got to create these cultures. We've got to transform cultures. So people are knocking the door down to get in, not knocking it down to get out. Mm-hmm. And so, um, and then at this time, you know, with, the, with this pandemic, there's so much talk around a mass exodus of, of teachers, you know, um, after this whole thing is over. So there are key strategies in this book on what we can do in our cultures. What are, what, what are some strategies we can use to support teachers and other staff, to support administrators? We often talk about teacher support, but administrators need that support as well. Because as you said, if we take care of them, yep. if I'm a district level administrator, and I take care of my principals, my APs, my administrators, they're going to take care of their teachers. Those teachers are going to take care of the children. So um, we've got to make sure that we're building systems that offer that support, but also that give them opportunities for growth. That means we've got to have those honest and authentic conversations, those difficult ones about change. We talked about change earlier. Change is important moving them into that zone into that zone where we know an only way for you to improve your community as an administrator is for you to improve yourself because the, the principal or the administrator's most important job is to help teachers improve their practice right we build relationships mm-hmm. and connections because we want you to improve your practice because you impact children in the po- in a positive way that doesn't happen if we train we hire people we have them for a couple years they leave and go make some other school better We've got to find a way to support these teachers and administrators, um, finding ways to highlight them, giving them a, a building capacity, giving them opportunities to grow as leaders, giving them responsibilities, not mm-hmm. just mundane you know, roles, but give them opportunities where they can grow, not just go through a situation, but grow through right. a situation, allow them to struggle you know, and learn. So I think this book is going to be big, as you say, yep. very timely, very timely. 100%. And not just in schools, but in many organizations. It's a struggle to retain high quality, talented employees. So we have to begin to focus on not only how to recruit them, how to retain them and hold on to them so the organization flourishes. Okay, so I got I to gotta ask you this because like, as I'm listening to you, I think this is really important. So the uh, one answer, and I, I just want your thoughts on this. Cause I have a, I have a very strong opinion when, when someone says to me, I'll say like, Hey, how's your principal? Right. And if they say this answer, I, it's a red flag for me. It's like, Oh, they're really nice. They let me do whatever I want to do. And I'm like, that's, that's not good. That's that, that to me is not good. Right. And okay. So uh, it's not, I'm not crazy here. And one thing that you said that really is important to me is that we build relationships so we can help people improve. Right. And I, I, I believe that when you are, some people are really great at their work. They're really, and a lot of great teachers have principals who let them do whatever they want to do. But I really believe sometimes those teachers leave because they crave mentorship. They, they want to get better. And when they feel that they've kind of outgrown their administrator, they leave. So what, what are your thoughts on that? Like, am I totally crazy what I'm saying? Because I know like, Hey, I, I want autonomy in my job, but I need someone to push me to. And that that's the key. And then, you know, I hate to go back to sports, but I mean, even 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 athletes, even entertainers, um, they they all have coaches, right? They all mm-hmm. want they don't want a person just blowing smoke and saying that I'm great. Like I, I need to get better. Right. Um, that that's th- right. this work that we do. This work is our passion. Our job is to get better at it. Right. And I, I that can't happen if I if I have an administrator who's afraid to tell me what I need to hear. And, and I mean, listen, and I'm not, I don't want to criticize, you know, administrators, mm-hmm. especially these young ones. It's tough working with adults. Trust yep. me. It, it, my mother warned me about that. Right. I told my mom, yep. she said, well, I wanted to be a principal. She said, why do you want to leave teaching? I said, mom, I'm tired of breaking up fights in the cafeteria. She said, don't you know, as a principal, you would break up more fights between your teachers than you ever had. <laughs> <laughs> but, the idea was I knew that if I wanted to impact a larger number of students, I had to be able to impact teachers. But those teachers want someone who's willing to, and if you have a relationship and you come to them with compassion, you come to them with empathy, you come with patience, with love, with respect, Mm -hmm. 
they will embrace and accept the fact that you came in and said, listen, I know you thought that lesson was great, but I watched those kids, right? And it was hard for you to watch them because you were caught up in the lesson. Some just okay. did not get it, right? That, you know, um, let's talk about how we can make that better. Let me come. And that person said, hey, help me out. Talk, talk to me. What can I do? You know, who can I go see who may have already done that? Because I'm coming to you with a level of respect. I'm telling you, you're doing a great job. But today just didn't go the way you wanted. But let me help you get it there. And, and, and some, I have to be honest at times and say, listen, I don't even know what. I have to call one of my colleagues who's working with a teacher who's doing this. I have to be open and authentic and honest about that, too. Mm -hmm. We have limitations as administrators, as right. leaders. But it doesn't happen if we're not honest and authentic. So, but the key is people want to be pushed. And you mentioned mentorship. Mentoring is so important. I think that's the part of leadership that doesn't get talked about enough. Mm -hmm. And of course, you would talk about it because you're just the man. <laughs> I thought I was the man, but I'm the man <laughs> talking to the man. But yes, mentorship is so important. And mentorship means that when I tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear, I don't let you do whatever you want to do. I let you do what you need to do right. that's going to help you get better and help someone else get better.